this is just a video on how to set up your MIDI keyboard. I have an M Audio uh, Oxygen 49. It, uh, I have Magic's Music Maker 2014 Premium. Not sure if it matters, but uh, you probably have the same for uh, program settings, so we'll just go with that. This is uh, most of the stuff I'm going to show you applies to a lot of other softwares like FL Studio and Ableton and whatnot. It kind of applies to this, you know, same stuff, same rules of settings and whatnot. Uh, uh, also, a couple other things before I go. Uh, this is just, I'm just freeballing it, so, you know, make fun of me, whatever, I don't really care. I'm just uh, going to go all, you know, with what's in my head right now. I'm not really write, uh, reading off anything like most people do or whatever the hell they do. Anyway, uh, before you launch your app, any this goes for all music software when you uh, before you launch your app make sure that you have your keyboard on first you want to turn your keyboard on first before you launch your app or the settings will be all discombobulated and crap so you want to make sure you have it on first before you open your app and uh, we'll get into this real quick general options these were all preset checked uh, might be a little hard to see maybe not quite sure but this was already checked when I uh, got the uh, the disk to the software for this. It was already checked, so were these two. I haven't unchecked or checked anything. These were all here. So I'm not sure if that matters. Probably not. Same with the import tab. <gasps> Take up. Um, I'm not sure if these matter. Um, these were all, all checked down here too. Already checked for you. I'm not sure if any of these really mean anything. So yeah, you know, pot, you guys can pause it and check your settings, see if you know if you want to match them. If you lost all hope like I did, um, the uh, primary you want primary sound driver. It's a given. Direct sound, uh, you don't have to have it. I just recommend doing it because it offers uh, less lag when you hit a key. So you it, like uh, I used to have a huge lag on my keyboard. I'd hit a key and like five seconds later it'd play the note. And so I just chose direct sound, and it has like no, it has no lag. It has better or sample rates on it, better sample rates. So really, what you need though, this is really all you need are these two right here. You want your MIDI output device. You want your output device to be anything. I don't know if it'll say this for you, but really, you just want anything but your keyboard. You don't want your keyboard for your output because this is what the speaker it's going to come out of, or the samples it's going to be sent to. Your input is obviously your keyboard. It's mine's the Oxygen 49, and it's it's because it's plugged in obviously to your computer. So that's your input device is your keyboard. Right down here, same deal. No idea. These are checked, so I haven't screwed with it. Project settings. Not sure if it means anything. If you want to match this too, you can. Not sure if this matters at all. Probably not. Uh, Synchronization sounds like it matters, but it really doesn't. It's just this box, if you check either one, then you're able to do this stuff right here. It's probably a little bright. You might not be able to see it as well. But uh, these two boxes, just leave them unchecked. All of the, Actually, all, all three of these are three. So just leave these all unchecked. Don't tamper with any of that because mine works just fine. Um, that's really there, all there is to it. I'll run back through that in a minute. Um, I'm going to say before I play the piano, though, um, I'm recording on a PVR, for, so for some reason when I hit a key, it'll sit there, because they're both trying to use my audio thing, it'll sit there and like replay the key a million times, so I'm going to try and make it not do that real quick. So, as you can see, um, it plays just fine. So that's perfect. And then I'm going to go into here real quick so it'll stop being stupid. And I'm going to mute it. And let's hope that that muted that because I don't want to hear that crap while I'm talking. So let's hope it doesn't do that. Okay. And we'll unmute that. And I don't hear it. So let's hope it doesn't keep doing it without me hearing it or something. Um. Anyway, there's my babbling. So anyway, so uh, I'll, go, I'll go back through it. Make sure you have your, key or your keyboard turned on before you launch your app. Program settings, you know, match that, match that, make sure you got them all checked, you know, just for backup situations, not sure if it matters. You just direct sound, I recommend it. 
and you just want you just need your output to not be your any just anything but your MIDI keyboard and your MIDI keyboard is your input device that's all you really need don't don't tamper with any of that stuff you can match these make sure that those are checked on yours that's all there is to it don't tamper with anything else that's just if you've lost all hope because I lost all hope and couldn't even fix it and I finally did Half of it was because I kept turning my keyboard on after it opened, and then the settings were jacked up. I had these backwards and all sorts of crap. So that's all there is to it. That's how you'd, I did it. Um, if I left out something, sorry, just comment. Let me know if I left it out, and uh, or if you just need help, and I will help you. I will uh, answer any of your guys' questions if you need any help, because I couldn't find any good videos on how to do this. So if you need help, comment, subscribe, or whatever, you know. Leave me a question on there, whatever, you know, let me know if you need help. I'll answer your question. If I helped you, please share this video with, um, you know, amongst your friends or whatever, if they have the same program or issue or, you know, whatever the case is. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, you know, subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff if I helped you. And thank you very much. Have a nice day.